So this is the first thing that people are gonna notice. This is actually a really good example of a high impact rendering that I was talking about. So I wanna pull up another portfolio. This one is Aaron's. So I asked Aaron if I could show his portfolio. It's on Behance and I made sure it was okay. I wanted to use it as an example of a good portfolio. So Aaron actually has a pretty similar skill set to Christopher. I would say he's maybe a little bit stronger in terms of visual communication and, and Christopher's a little bit stronger in terms of model building. It's not like either of them is, is bad at each of those things. It's just one is a little bit stronger, that's all. So we're on the first page of Aaron Weeks' portfolio. It's just cleaner. Um, it's less busy. Yeah, it's more boring, but if you go pretty much to the next page, if it wants to load, you know, there's some effort at graphic design here. It's actually not very good on the right side, but nobody's gonna look at it anyway. Um, okay, so this is the first thing that people are gonna notice. They're gonna look at the projects on page two. It's mm -hmm. labeled page two, it's the table of contents. And it's like, okay, right away, we see some really, really cool design work on here. And they just have a little bit more room to breathe. There's yeah. just like a little more space, you yeah. see? So it's a small thing, but it does make a difference. So once again, this is a really high contrast rendering if we look at the next page, page three, oblique. So really, really high contrast, because you have like almost pure black against almost pure white mm -hmm. um, in several areas of this rendering. So it doesn't take much. All it takes is just that, that little extra bit. And another thing is that the materials are decent. They're not amazing. Actually, this rendering could be done even better with just a little bit of uh, experimentation with the materials. It's worth mentioning that um, Aaron actually works at Western Digital and he got an internship, I believe, at Western Digital with his portfolio, right? That's right. Yes. So if you wanna work at Western Digital, for example, you know that this is the level that your work needs to be at. Mm -hmm. That's a little pro tip for you guys. You can look at other portfolios online for companies that kids work at. I'm sorry, not that you're not kids anymore, <laughs> that student graduates work at and um, basically see the level that it needs to be at. By the way, you guys should check out the other channel that I started with my friend Mark. It's called Honest Unboxing. It is not educational, but a very small, small minority of people might find it entertaining. If we go to the page four user-related goals, I'm not into this, I would skip right past it. Sketches are actually kind of similar, so your sketches were just as good, your models were just as good. Uh, eyepiece. So this is actually a really good example of a high impact rendering that I was talking about yeah, on page yeah. seven, the eyepiece. It's like, it doesn't tell you that much, honestly, visually, but it's just kind of cool looking. If you mm -hmm. can do something that tells you something about the product and looks cool like this, that's even better. Awesome. Um, page eight magnification adjustment. So yeah, like I know what this thing does now. Mm -hmm. He shows the little icon uh, on the bottom left and he shows the actual mechanism as a rendering. So it just looks a little nicer. Nice. Yeah, same thing with the specimen attachment. Like it's not, it's not that different from what you have. It's just like little tweaks here and there. Like mm -hmm. the rendering is a little bit higher contrast. Um, the the vis images are just a little bit higher visual impact. Yeah, yeah. I'm skeptical of this. I would want to see this in a model. Luckily, you have models, so that's that's one thing that you have. Mm -hmm. Now, if we look at the model photos, oh, Aaron has a model as well. So on yep. page 12, it's really, really beautifully done. This is a beautiful model. Holy crap. <laughs> so that's really good. Um, the reason why I'm responding to it is because the surfaces are very harmonious and they sort of blend with each other really well. The silhouette is very dramatic. Like it's very recognizable and dramatic and high impact and the way that it's been photographed really highlights that. So that's what I'm responding to visually. Mm. Uh, if we go to pivot, this was for my class in ID2, page 13, we have a nice, I'm pretty sure this is a rendering, existing problems. Nobody's gonna look at these icons, just show me images. User and environment, okay, it's for cleaning stuff. Now I'm looking at sketches, page 16. Great sketches, nice sketch renders as well. Page 17 is also a really good exploration where he's showing how the product is being held. So that's great. Showing two positions. This is very clever. He should probably have shown this earlier in the presentation because that's really cool. So he shows us, he shows us like the, the fact that this can be adjusted for two different positions for different vacuuming styles on page 18 but the project starts on page 13. And you know, there's like a little sketch of it on page 16, but it's not super evident. Mm -hmm. You gotta show something like, I would show something like this much earlier personally, cause that's what makes it Got so it. cool. 
Adaptability is nice. Yeah, great renders. Um, nice form giving. These are some model photos, so it shows he knows how to make things. Yeah, so if we go to page 22, like we can see exactly what's happening. I would wanna see the, the two configurations of the pivot mm -hmm. much, much earlier in the presentation. All right, now if we go to Tug, um, this is also another good project. I don't have much to say about it. It actually is starting to remind me of the microscope a little bit in its form factor, where it's like this long skinny thing that has this very dramatic sort of silhouette, but it's well executed, it's well designed. And then honestly, I would take out the shoe because um, anatomically it just doesn't quite look right. I'm not a shoe designer though. I could be wrong, but this doesn't look right to me. Um, like the renderings are awesome and stuff but I think that the proportions of the shoe are not quite right. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, and I would take out the toy ship entirely. Um, I, I don't think you need it or the Lego bike. I think that the other projects are just so strong, basically one through three that you don't even need them. But you know, who am I to judge? Uh, Aaron has a full-time job immediately out of school. So <laughs> congratulations, Aaron. This is an example of a really good portfolio. This is probably one of the best junior level portfolios I've seen come out of CSA in the past couple of years. Thank you so much for checking out the video, everybody. This is actually part of a series where we discuss essentially how to get an industrial design job from portfolio to hiring manager outreach strategies to everything in between. So if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. And thanks again for checking out the content. I appreciate it.